Hi there, Sine Naylor here with an unscripted video. A client has asked me to clean up a page and make his image slider work. He's having trouble getting the images to appear within the slider at the right size. So I uh, did a one page already and I'm getting ready to start the other one and I thought well this would be a good time for me to record what I'm doing because uh, I know that there are a number of people out there that are interested in this. So if you're ready, come on, let's get started. Okay, the first thing you need to know is that we are using Elegant Themes and that Elegant Themes has short codes and Elegant Builder and image sliders that he can add to his pages at will. Now one of the problems that he's noticed is like on this page, he's got an image slider here but there are no images that are appearing here. He has successfully gotten images in but one of the challenges he's having is getting it sized correctly. So this is one of the pages that we were working on, Adult Fitness, and previously he had, just like on the team training, the image go all the way across. The, the problem is all of his images were taken with the camera held on its side or, or in what we call portrait mode. So his images are taller than they are wider. So what was happening is in the image slider, the really wide slider, it was cutting it off because there wasn't enough width on the image he was uploading. So one of the things I'm going to show you today is how to use Pixlr and some uh, sizing methods, some compression methods, to get them to appear where you want. Now the first thing I did was I, I did take it off of, he had a, a slider that went all the way across, uh, just like he has here, and then he had some various text blocks. Well, I noticed that he had text blocks that were that were kind of even, so he had this third one that was really wide. And I realized that if I made this image slider a bit taller, it would look really nice next to the text. So one thing I did do inside Elegant Builder, which is Elegant Themes um, page builder tool, is I brought in a two-thirds column and a one-third column and I moved his slider up into that and I moved the text block that he previously had going all the way across I moved it up into its own. So now that that's done again we have a single image here but I'm getting ready to add to that and then we have the text block to the right. So now you're kind of up to speed on where I'm at. The thing he, he did was he sent me a number of images uh, for this class. It, it is adult class slider 1 through 7. I've already used one, this is number one right here, but he has six more that he wants to add. The challenge is they are all the wrong size. We can see that if we preview that, see how the images are much taller than they are wider. So one of the things we're going to go do is use Pixlr to kind of zoom in and get the part of the image that we want and then get it scaled or sized to approximately the correct shape. So just a little bit of prep before we begin. I have uploaded all seven images to the image folder or that I where I can access them online. I'm, I'm doing it that way because with Pixlr, a program that uh, I have found online, pixlr.com slash editor, uh, I can size, scale, uh, do whatever I need to do to update the image. I can open the image from a URL and I happen to know the direct URL. So give me a minute to type that. So type that in and it's opening it. So I know the size of the image that I want. Uh, I know that this is 550 wide by 490 tall. Uh, that that fits exactly next to the text that we have. So I want all of the images that I bring in here to match that. This image is currently 960 by 720. So it's a little bit too big and uh, it's really too wide. So I'm, I may have to lose one of the guys. Uh, what I'm going to do is kind of focus right in here. So first thing I'm going to do with Pixlr uh, I've got the crop tool is what you get by default. I'm just going to draw a box that is looking at the right hand side over here that is 550 wide by 490 tall. So I'm, I, I'm okay being a little over. I just want to kind of get the section here. Okay so this gives me the square that I have to work with and by moving this I can see how much of this I can put in frame. 
So this poor guy right here, he's really not going to work in the frame. So I think I'm going to slide it in like this. And now once I press enter, the image is cropped down to the size that I want. And again, this image is already pretty close to what I want. It's 552, so it's two pixels wider. It's 493, so it's three pixels taller. But because I, I happen to know Elegant Themes will size it appropriately, a little bit bigger is not a big deal. So the next thing I'm going to do is save this back to my computer. Say OK. And I happen to be where I'm putting all of his images, that same place I just showed you. So it does exist. I'm going to say yes. Now, since I know I've got uh, five others to do, I all I have to do is go right up to the editor. Actually, I can't do that. So let me let me back up. Pixlr has a built-in uh, feature that will allow me to look at an image, edit an image from within Firefox. And if, if you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my videos. There's a video on this subject. Um, and so to do that, what I'm going to do, or to use that, I'm going to go to where the images are. Okay, this is the image, the original image that's online. I'm going to right click, and because I have the Pixlr add-on installed in Firefox, I have this edit image capability. When I do that, you'll see that it opens a Pixlr image, it brings that image in for me to work on, and more importantly, it gives me a URL up here that all I have to do to go do the other images is just change that. See, I put a 3 in there and press enter, and now I'm looking at the third image. And just like before, I want to dial in and make uh, pull out 550 by 490. So once again, I'm just going to draw my box, get it kind of close. Let's see, 550 wide. And I don't know if you can tell, I'm, I'm watching right over here. Um, it'll show me the dimensions of the box. 550 by 490. So again, that's pretty close. I'm going to see how much of this. I, you know what? I can almost get all of the people. So since I can't quite get all of the people, what I'm going to do is open this up a little bit, kind of keeping the same shape, because this one is so close. So I'm keeping kind of the same shape. I'm going to press Enter, and now I've got the people in frame at approximately the correct shape. Now I can change my image size to bring this down to what I want. So 490 is my, um, my overall height that I need and I need 550 width and I have currently 607 so I need to kill about 50 pixels so starting remember my height is where I need it so I'm just gonna come in just a little right here I'm gonna click and pull down try and catch his head and release now I'm at 572 by 489 again close enough um, the theme will style this will zoom in or crop out as needed. So I'm just going to save this back to number three is which one we're working on. And I'm going to do all of these at once so that I can upload them all at once. I'm just going to kind of uh, assembly line them. So I'm going to pause the video while I run through the rest of the slides. Actually I changed my mind. What I'm going to do is do the next couple. I'm just going to uh, be quiet. So grab my shape first. Pull it in, scale it down, save it out. This is number four. Same thing for number five. And I apologize that I'm going kind of fast. Again, I'm just repeating what you've already seen me do. Now this image, boy, we're going to have a little trouble with this one because really the person in frame is the full width. So I think what I'm going to do is try bringing the overall image size down to the max I need. See, that's going to give me a width that's not big enough. Okay, so let's, um, let's trim off some of this. Again, I'm going for kind of the shape. Now scale left to right. Okay, I've got about um, 
65 pixels too tall. So I can cut a little more off here, and a little more off here. That's pretty close. Uh, number five. Just two more. Hang with me. Change this URL. This is one of the advantages of keeping them all named the same except for the numbers. Um, oh, see this one. He is completely in frame. I, Tom, I apologize. I don't think this one's going to work. Uh, it's blurry on top of all of that, so I'm going to skip this one. Um, please don't be mad. Okay, got another really wide image that I'm going to have trouble with. So I'm looking, um, I'm thinking these people over here are kind of the central theme. So I'm going to go grab my shape. Move it over a little bit. Scale it down. I got about, uh, I don't know, 60 pixels too many tall. I'm wide. So leaving my height, and I'll come right to the edge there. Okay, that looks pretty good. This is number seven. Okay, so I've done all seven images. They are stored on my local computer. Now I need to use WordPress's built-in feature to go upload new media into the library. Okay. So I've clicked on Add New. I'm at the Add New area. I'm going to go select the files. Now, as you can see, I just did Slider 1. So I'm going to go get Sliders 2 through 7. And I click the first one, held down the Shift key, and click the last one. And now with holding the Control key down, I'm going to click this one to unselect it. So I'm going to go get 2 through 7, but not 6. Click OK or Open and it's going to go upload all of those images and place them in the image library. Now, if you're a fan of Elegant Themes like I am, the new Elegant Builder that he's pulled in is amazing. It gives you a tool inside where you edit a page or a post that allows you to bring in modules, columns, simple layouts. It allows you to construct creatively um, using all kinds of elements here. Uh, and as you can see, this, this is at a column, this is at a module. You've got horizontal bars, logos, paper, sliders, all kinds of fun stuff. Check out videos on that. This image slider is the first one that we're working with right up here. So I've added one slide. You can see that right here, which means I've already set the, the image size, the animation effects that I want. So now all I need to do is go add additional images. So I'm going to click Add Slider Image. And because I just added them to my media library, I can now go choose number two, insert into slider, add slider, media, number three, add into slider. Number four, number five, and finally number seven. Save the changes. And now if we go to the Adult Fitness page and refresh, what we should get is an image slider with six images total that will automatically rotate between those images. And the image content has now been kind of drilled in so that we can see the important parts of the image, but it's the correct shape to fit the image slider. So that's it. I hope this unscripted video has helped. Um, feel free to drop by, uh, leave me a comment, or uh, come by the videos.bysine.com and request a video if I can make one for you. Till next time, this is Sine signing off. 
Okay, in the way of a PS, um, it, I was explaining the video to someone and they asked me a question that I thought I'd go ahead and answer in the video. The question was, how did you know how big to make this image in order to make it fit? Well, the first thing I did, as I mentioned before, was I put the image slider, which previously went all the way across, I put it in a two-thirds column container, and I put the text in a container. And then I saved it and came in here to see how tall this text was at one-third of the column. Then I used a tool called Measure It to grab where I, where I can see the image would be, and I pulled it all the way up to where it should end, and I got a, a width of 544, and I got a height of 486. So I just rounded that up to 550 by 490, and that's the size that I kind of went for either proportionally or exactly uh, for the images that I selected for this particular slider. So please excuse the PS. Once again, this is Sine signing off.